matrix multiplication. Now the first thing we're going to learn is that matrix multiplication is not always possible and we want to know when we can do matrix multiplication. So over here it says two matrices can be multiplied together only if the columns of the first matrix, the columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of the rows of the second matrix. And the outcome order of the matrix is the rows of the first matrix by the columns in the second matrix. Now, what, what is this rows first, columns second, columns first, rows second? Okay, it's very confusing. Let's look at an example and it's going to be much clearer. So I always like to tell my students to write down the order below. So here you have a two rows by two columns, a two by two matrix. This is a two rows by one column matrix, okay? So how do you tell if you are able to do this matrix multiplication? Well, you look at this number, which is the columns of the first matrix. And you look at the rows of the second, which is this, because you always have R and C, R and C, yeah? So this is the rows, this is the columns, this is the rows, this is the columns. And you see that the columns of the first is equal to the rows of the second. This is equal, okay? So yes, matrix multiplication can be done. Then we look at this number here and this number here. Okay, that's the order of the solution matrix, which is two by one, two by one. The idea here is this is a two by two and this is a two by one. After they multiply, what is the order going to be? Is it going to be a two by two or two by one or something else? Well, we just have to look at this. The rows are the first and the columns are the second. The order of solution matrix will be the rows are the first by the columns are the second. Okay, let's look at this one. Now we reverse the order here. Originally, we have a 2 by 2 and 2 by 1. Now, we reverse the order. This is a 2 by 1 and this is 2 by 2. And we see now that the number of columns of the first is not equal to the number of rows of the second. And so, matrix multiplication simply cannot be done. End of story. Okay, if ever this comes out, right, it can be tested sometimes. Uh, the question will say, do this multiplication of this matrix. And you're supposed to say that matrix multiplication cannot be done quote the reason because the columns of the first matrix is not equal to the rows of the second. So now let's do some multiplication of matrices in example 5. We're going to evaluate the following. So let's first see if matrix multiplication can be done. We have a 2 by 2 here and a 2 by 2 here. This is a 2, this is a 2 is equal. So yes, it can be done. The solution matrix after you multiply is going to be another 2 by 2. Okay, so now we know what to expect for the solution matrix. So first we look at the number of rows of the first. Okay, this is important here. I want you to look at 1, 3 as in one cell and then 0, negative 2 as in another. So these are the rows of the first. And we have the columns of the second. So you always look at the rows of the first and the columns of the second. Now I'm going to call this the top row and the bottom row. Here, the left column and the right column. Now, the top row is going to multiply by the left column to give you the top left. The top row is going to multiply by the right column to give you the top right entry. And so you have bottom left here, and then the bottom right here. Now, how is it that you have two numbers here, so which is going to multiply by which? Very simple. Your first entry, 1 will multiply by the fence first entry here, uh, which is 1 times 2, plus, okay, here the plus is very important because that's where many students miss it. They forget the plus. The second entry multiplied by the second entry, 3 times 0. So one more time, first entry multiplied by the first entry, second entry multiplied by the second entry. The result you have to add up. Yep. So. We have 1 here, the top row multiplied by the right column. So you have 1 times 1 plus 3 times 1. 1 times 1 plus 3 times 1 here. Then we have the bottom row multiplied by the left column. 0 times 2 plus negative 2 times 0. And finally, the bottom row times the right column. So you have 0 times 1 
plus negative 2 times 1. Okay, so simplify, we have 2 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 3 is 4, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. And there you go. It's a 2 by 2. Let's look at B here. I'm going to take 1, 2, 4, multiplied by 3, 0, and 1. So this is a 3 row by 1 column. This is a 1 row by 3 column. Okay, 1 here and 1 here, they are equal. So yes, we can do this. But what's the order of the solution matrix after you multiply? It's going to be a 3 by 3. So interesting, we have 3 by 1, 1 by 3. The result is going to be a 3 by 3. It's something totally different from the initial matrices. Now, you don't want to draw the cells, well, this is... You can uh, draw just some lines to divide it this way. These lines here is actually an important thing because it helps to guide your eyes to look at the correct numbers because it is very easy for you to see the wrong numbers, especially if your matrices uh, have a lot of numbers. Okay, so you know that 1 has to go with 3, 0 has to go with negative 2. And then it's rows by columns, not rows by rows, yeah? So over here, this is the top row, middle row, and then bottom row. This is the left column, the center column, and the right column. Now, how is it going to look like after you multiply? Because this is a 3 by 3, so you can imagine that it's going to look like this. And we are going to say that uh, this is the top left, top center, and top right middle, left, middle, center, and middle, right, bottom, left, bottom, center, and bottom, right. Okay. And in this case, there isn't any addition because, you see, if you have to do the top left, right, because if you are going to do the top left, 1 times 3, and that's it, there's no other number at the top row. Unlike this one, we have two numbers here in the top row. So, the first times the first plus the second times second. Here, it's just 1 times 3 and that's it. So you have 1 times 3 here, and then uh, 1 times 0, 1 times 1. So that's our top row. The middle row, 2 times 3, 2 times 0, and then 2 times 1. Finally, for the bottom row, 4 times 3, 4 times 0, and 4 times 1. Okay, so let's simplify this. 1 times 3 is 3, 0 and 1. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 0 0, 2 times 1 2. 4 times 3 12, 4 times 0 0, and 4 times 1 is 4. And that's it for B. Let's look at C. We have 3, 2 multiplied by 1 and 4. So as usual, we write out the order. This is a 1 by 2. This is a 2 by 1. This is 2, this is 2, they are equal. So great, we can do the matrix multiplication. And after the multiplication, we have a 1 by 1 matrix. Interesting. Now, if you look at it this way, this is only one row. This is only one column. So one row by one column. There's no other row and column that we can multiply with. So that's basically it, okay? So the first times the first, we have 3 times 1 plus 2 times 4 and the result here is 3 plus 8 and it's 11. This is a 1 by 1 matrix. So to sum up, it's always useful when you are still not yet very familiar to write out the rows and the columns of each matrix to be multiplied. Check that these two numbers are equal, okay? When you see these two numbers by layout, it's much easier to remember that it's the columns of the first and the rows of the second, okay? But by virtue of its layout, you can remember these numbers quite easily. And then you can remember that it's rows of the first by the columns of the second that's going to be your solution matrix. Okay, you give it a try.